how to create the perfect frame in ballroom dancing. And go from this to this. Perfect frame is a combination of the correct posture of the man, correct posture of the lady, and the correct connection. And let's create a perfect frame for men. Gentlemen, first of all, we have to remember, we're going to stay on the right foot. Flex your knee and let your right side absorb your body. Then, second point, position of our hips and position of our uh, tummy muscles of the core. We're not releasing them, we're not sticking out our hips, but on another hand, we're not bringing it too much forward. Can you see, I want you to make a shorter muscles of your core and keep it in the vertical degree. After that, gentlemen, let's make a long spine, long neck and long head. Keep your shoulders down and then open your arms as um, wide as you can. You're going to open your arms from the low back muscles of your body. Whoop. Gentlemen, second point, also very important. In the beginning, I'm staying on my right foot and let's make sure our feet and our hips pointing at 12 o'clock. What do I mean by saying 12 o'clock? Let's imagine the clock on, from the wall and we're going to take them and put them down on the dance floor. And I'm going to stay in the center of this clock. And my center and my feet going to point at 12 o'clock. Behind me, 6 o'clock. On my left side, 9 o'clock. And on my right, 3 o'clock. So my feet and my hip going to point directly at 12 o'clock. Now, we have to do small rotation in our soloplex area, in our frame. Can you see, I'm going to turn my soloplex, my rib cage, it's going to towards one o'clock. This is actually encourage my partner go to my right side and create a beautiful, very spacious upper body position. So, my soloplex pointing one o'clock and my face, neck and head, contrabalance my rib cage, looking at 11 o'clock. Sometimes I can see like men staying and looking to the left. Definitely it doesn't look correct. This is the reason why we're doing like this. So feet and hips pointing 12, then my rib cage looking at one o'clock. I'm encouraging lady go to my right and my face contrabalance my rib cage facing 11 o'clock. That's uh, three important points. Feet and hips, 12, a rib cage, soloplex one, and face looking at 11 o'clock. And one more point for gentlemen, position of our spine, neck, and head. Very often I can see men looking to the left. But can you see, this is more important position of your spine, your neck, and your head. Naturally, our head pointing slightly forward and hips slightly backward. As we already mentioned, we're going to keep our hips under our uh, rib cage. And for right now, guys, I want you to move your head, not to the left, but move it back. Make sure your spine, neck and head staying on the one straight line. And because my rib cage pointing slightly to the right, I'm going to turn my face at 11 o'clock. But it's not from this point looking at 11 o'clock. Move it back first on the vertical, with the vertical degree of your spine, neck and head, and then turn slightly to the left at 11 o'clock. And how to create a perfect frame for ladies? Ladies, first of all, we have to build it from your bottom. So your feet and your hips going to point also at 12 o'clock. But ladies, your left knee going to point inside, pointing inside, and your right hip should be higher than your left one. And this is create a nice extending of your upper body to the left side. Then ladies, your center of gravity, your uh, solar plex pointing at one o'clock and your head extending at 10 o'clock. So for you, one more time, flex your standing left knee, it's pointing in, 
right hip higher, your feet and your hips pointing 12, rib cage 1, and face 10 o'clock. Now let us show you how to get together to create a perfect frame. So, gentlemen, we're going to stay on the right foot. So now we're connecting our hands, and ladies, you're going to take two steps forward, and you're going to place your right side of your body on the man right side. Ladies, let's make sure your right hip towards man right hips. So now, ladies, you're going to do a next action. You're going to bring your heart, only your rib cage, not your shoulder, not your frame, to the man body. So you can see this part go forward. And we have very important two points. Right hip towards man right hip. And ladies, your heart, your left side of your rib cage, moving to your partner. And we have beautiful position. Ladies head looking 10 o'clock. Gentlemen, our rib cage pointing one and head looking at 11. And now we have very nice frame. And we need to discuss with you two more important points. Connection of the man left hand and ladies right hand and connection of the lady's body with man right hand and lady's left hand and man shoulder. So let's speak about left hand for men and right hand for ladies. So I want you to keep it, guys, your hands like this. And now we're going to connect our uh, hands. Now, gentlemen, we're going to move our fingers down. Now, ladies, you're going to close your fingers. And then, gentlemen, after that, we're going to close our fingers. Now, you can see it's very nice looking position, but very compact, but at the same time, very firm, very solid. And gentlemen, how are we going to place our right hand on the lady's back? First of all, you can see I'm bringing my right arm forward and my palm pointing up. So nice connection between my forearm and lady's upper arm. Then I'm going to place it on her left shoulder blade and invite her go to my right. And after that, ladies, you're going to place your left hand on the man's arm. This one, is how two, dancing three, will look like one, if we're two, using three, the good one, frame. Two, three, and two, this is three, how it may one, look like two, three, if we don't create one, two, a good three, frame. One, two, three, 